All right, guys. Today I'm working on Dave's three to three stroker build. So uh, Dave came to me a few months ago, and he was looking for a small block Chevy to really rip in his C10 truck. So uh, after doing uh, making like a parts list and everything, we finally have a bunch of the parts um, ready to go for his build. Um, it's a three to three stroker, um, brand new rotating assembly with uh, white scope pistons and uh, scat rods and a scat crank um, and we hooked them up with some comp cam uh, we, we got a comp cam in it and a uh, full comp cam valve train so it's going to be really strong and reliable and make some good power and it's going to sound good of course and uh, so right now we're going to make sure that um, the camshaft is happy with all the other parts that are going in the motor and uh, make sure everything's going to go smoothly all right so a really important part of your engine is checking the push rod length the right way so the right way to check it on this application is to put your push rod in and you want to have a little checker spring like this you want to have a little dial indicator and a degree wheel and you want to have your lifter in there obviously and the cam so you want to take your rocker arm you want to have your push rod in and um, you want to have it so it's not so it's the uh the lobe of the cam isn't the isn't touching the lifter at all so it'll be like about here and you want to have it so it's a little bit inboard the rocker tip is a little bit inboard on the tip of the valve and then you want to figure out on the cam card what's the max lift and then you want to divide that by 10 or divide that by two and then and then turn your motor over until it's at half lift and then it should should make uh, full contact with the top of the valve and then when the when it's all the way down when the rocker arm is pushing all the way down it should the rocker arm the rocker should be slightly outboard so that's pretty much how you uh, figure out your push rod length it's pretty simple in this case it's uh, 7.2 inches so that's what we got right here for Dave. All right, so when you want to figure out the max lift, it's pretty easy. All you do is you take your little dial indicator right here. You put it on the top of the valve like this and you turn your motor over and you count the amount of times that the, uh, the little needle spins basically and uh, you figure out how, how much uh, lift your cam. So in this case, it's about 525, um, and uh, the cam card says it should be around 540, um, but I'm guessing that's just because the, uh, the rocker arms could be a little bit different or uh, something like that. All right, so when you check your intake center line, uh, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is um, turn the motor over to max lift which is it's at I think all right so as you can see it's on zero so I know that zero is max lift so now what you want to do <clears throat> so you want to go counterclockwise uh, 50 thousandths so you want the zero to be on the 50 so all you have to do is just turn the motor over like this All right, so I got it on 50 thousandths. So now you wanna record what uh, this says right here. So it says it's about 68 degrees. So now what you wanna do is you wanna turn the motor over uh, clockwise, 50 thousandths past zero. So go to zero. So now you go 50 thousandths more the other way. That's pretty much on 50. And then this is it at about 142, 142 degrees. So then take your calculator and type in 68 plus 
equals 210, then you divide that by 2. Then in this case, it's 105. And uh, the camp card says 106, so that's pretty close. So that that's uh, how you check the intake center line on your cam. And uh, it's really important to check that because uh, if it's not lined up properly, uh, you, you could uh, damage your engine potentially. And that also verifies that your cam and your gear and chain and everything like that, everything is made right and everything's lining up. And uh, that's really important when you're trying to do burnouts and stuff like Dave. So yeah, so it should work really great. So uh, yeah, so it's pretty much ready for assembly.